Good evening. I'm Connie Corrigan. I am Dean for the Division of Health Sciences and Healthcare Education at Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences. And I am pleased to welcome you all to the college's first joint induction ceremony for our National Honor Societies. Tonight, we honor students of high performance in their overall college work or in a particular field, such as respiratory or healthcare management. Admission into any honor society is an extraordinary accomplishment and worthy of the recognition and reward from your professors. If you look at the college logo and the seal, you'll see that our designs incorporate the torch. This represents the light of knowledge. And this evening, we acknowledge the diligence you have shown in obtaining that knowledge and mastering your studies. The choices you have made to delve into the work and to engage with your peers were clearly the right choices, no matter the sacrifices involved. And along those lines, congratulations to the parents and families of these remarkable people. Your unconditional love, guidance, support, and encouragement throughout the years is a big reason why our inductees are here tonight. Your efforts have definitely paid off. Also, thank you to our faculty and staff and administration for their contributions and unwavering dedication to our students. But inductees, tonight is all about you and your success. And it is our pleasure to acknowledge your drive and determination. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, first, I'd also like to say that I'm honored and excited to be part of our first combined induction ceremony tonight at Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences in our high auditorium. For those of you who do not know me, uh, my name is Marcy McCarty. I'm the clinical coordinator for the nuclear medicine program and also the bachelor's of health science program. I'm also the faculty advisor for the Pennsylvania Gamma Chi chapter for the Lambda New Honor Society. My fellow colleagues, Tara Diana and um, Marsha LaRusso, they're also going to help me out up here, along with Karen Dealman and also Leanne Johnson from all the programs, Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Radiography, the Bachelors of Health Science program, and also our Cardiovascular Invasive Specialty programs are all part of the Lambda Nu uh, Honor Society. The Lambda Nu National Honor Society was founded in 2001 by Arkansas State University, and that's where the current location of the national office is located. This society includes 166 chapters covering 43 states. The mission of this honor society is to foster and recognize the highest level of academic scholarship while promoting research and investigation into the radiologic and imaging science professions. Today, we are all here to honor your achievement, not only in scholarship, but also in leadership and character. To receive an invitation to this honor society, a student must meet a 3.5 or above GPA. This is not an easy task. The ability to meet this academic achievement came from your leadership and character traits that you have inside of you. On the table before you, there are five pillar candles representing each of the imaging science professional programs. Each and every one of the imaging science pro programs is not your typical college experience. The experience is rigorous, time consuming, and mentally draining, yet exhilarating. Your character traits such as determination, diligence, endurance, orderliness, and leadership skills earned you this distinguished honor in academic scholarship. Inside the pillar candles, the flower arrangement that's made up of gold and maroon um, flowers represents the Lambda New national colors. We have forest green designating healthcare professionals, gold is the ancient color for honor, and lastly, maroon representing radiologic sciences. We are now going to recognize our inductees into the Pennsylvania Gamma Chi chapter of Lambda Nu Honor Society. As I call your name, please come up and receive your, your certificate and your honor cords, but then I ask that all of you stay up here for a group photo after we're done. Paige Abdella. Leah Beisel. Bethany Deppen. Samantha Gerbletsky, 
Elise Mekalois, Carolyn Paradis, Mindy Wallach, Allison Figer, Alexander Chrisamore, Casey Deckman, Gabriella Formica, Christine Koch, Kelsey Anderson, Maximilian Beckett, Megan Groff, Abigail Hahn, Alisa Hoke, Katherine Hughes, Jennifer Monaco, Angela Poli, Jeffrey Reed, Ashley Stamey, Erica Wells, Dodie Ziegler, and Katricia Tinsley. And last but not least, I also want to induct three faculty members, Kyle Monju, Mariglo Stroik, and Brianna Groover. So if you join me and welcome and give a hand of applause to this great group of individuals who have done such a wonderful job. Good evening. My name is Howard Coverdale. I'm the program chair of the surgical technology program and the faculty advisor for the Beta Phi Beta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Fellow faculty members are Linda Hedlund Wagner, Jonathan Carruthers, and Patrick Osborne. The Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society is an international honor society founded in 1918 through Stevens College in Missouri. Currently, the society includes 1,300 chapters covering over 12 countries with a membership of over 3 million students. This makes this the largest honor society in the world. The mission of Phi Theta Kappa is to recognize academic achievement of college students and to provide opportunities for them to grow as scholars and leaders. 
The minimum requirement to receive an invitation to join the society is a GPA of 3.5 and above, and completion of at least 12 credits at the sponsoring institution. And at all times, Phi Theta Kappa members must remain in good standing both academically and professionally. On the table before you is the emblem of Phi Theta Kappa, which consists of a golden slab that is keyed at the top and bottom. The golden color represents the opportunities that abound on every hand for society members to evidence their culture and perform good works. The center of the slab is a band, which three Greek letters appear that symbolize the words for wisdom, aspiration, and purity. The wreath of oak leaves denotes strength and character and stability, and the curling leaves signify achievement and success. Above the band is a, rep is a representation of the head of Athena, goddess of learning, and in the base appear the mystic Greek letters meaning light, the light of learning, and knowledge. We will now recognize our inductees into the Pennsylvania chapter, uh, Beta Phi Beta, of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Uh, again, as in the prior group, once your name is called, please come on stage and stay there for a group picture at the end. Paige Abdella. Elsie Adelaide, Kelsey Anderson, Billy Augustine, Maximilian Beckett, Lauren Berger, Karen Cook, Brittany Feltenberger, Allison Feger, Allison Fowler, Jennifer Frey, Sam Gleed, Isaac Heeson, Corinne Henry, Caitlin Johnson, Angela Lackey, Isla Lazarczyk, Mackenzie Lehman, Mary Margaret Latier, Elise McLuce, Carolyn Paradis, Angela Poli, Lauren Rabenstein, M. Renea Real, Maria Rosas, Amber Cease, Cynthia Sorensen, Ashley Stamey, Katricia Tinsley, James Ulrich, Cassandra Urso, Erica Wells, Avery Weissman, and last of not least, Allison Wivell. I'd like everyone to give a round of applause for our inductees. Thank you. Evening. My name is Dave Zovac, Dr. Dave Zovac. Um, I am the chair of the Respiratory Care Program. I am here to introduce our inductees into the um, Lambda Beta Respiratory Honor Society. This society that is specifically for the respiratory therapists, 
that, or I should say students that are in the respiratory program. Um, this program, this honor society is extremely new. In fact, we only got the approval probably about a month ago. Um, and this was at the insistence of a couple of our inductees that uh, felt that we needed to have an honor society of our own. So uh, without any more delay, I would like to uh, tell you a little bit about our display, which is nothing, because we're so new we didn't know what we wanted to do. <laughs> our cords are green and blue. Green is a typical color for oxygen therapy and oxygen therapy devices. Blue is a typical color that we associate with patients that have difficult in breathing, cyanosis. Together, we make the patient whole. That's our job. We help people with breathing problems, and so the colors remind us of our job at the bedside. The, uh, before we um, introduce our student inductees, I want to uh, uh, first induct our two faculty members into the program, uh, Jim Christie and Janelle Hess, if you would come up. These are the two individuals that will be taking over for me as this will be my la first and only induction. This Honor Society is for students that have a uh, GPA of 3.5 or greater. I must say the two inductee students that we have well exceeded that level. And the two are um, Jennifer Fry and Angela Lackey. Would you please come up? My name is Dr. Karen Dealman, and I'm the chair of the Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration program here at Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences. Tonight, it's my honor and privilege to induct some additional students into our honor society. The Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration program has been in existence since 2009. In 2013, the program was accepted as a member of the Association of University Programs in Healthcare Administration. And we were granted the privilege of establishing a chapter of Upsilon Phi Delta, which is the Healthcare Management Honor Society. Our program's excellence could not have been achieved without the vision of the faculty, the motivation of our students, and the support of administration. As the chair of the program, I'd like to thank them for their support in establishing our Honor Society. The purposes of Upsilon Phi Delta 
are to elevate the standards, the ideals, the competence, and the ethics of professionally educated women and men in healthcare administration and leadership, to recognize and encourage scholarship in healthcare administration, to recognize students who achieve distinction in healthcare administration studies in universities and colleges, to provide financial assistance through scholarships to outstanding students who pursue graduate degrees or professional studies in healthcare administration, to motivate academic excellence in students who study healthcare administration, and to recognize by means of granting honorary memberships individuals who have made outstanding contributions to the healthcare management profession. Tonight, we want to celebrate the accomplishments and promise of our students. The students to be inducted into the Honor Society tonight have all achieved distinction in their studies. You see on the table before you, on the stage, that there are three red candles, there's a book, and some flowers. The candles represent teaching, learning and practice, the pillars of our discipline in healthcare administration. The book represents scholarship, and the flowers represent compassion, compassion for those we serve, because we truly cannot serve our patients and our community if we do not have compassion. I ask that the new inductees to co will come forward as I call your name, and then stand with the faculty and some alumni who are, were previously inducted into Uppsala and Phi Delta, and then stay on stage for a picture. Amanda Grimes, Carlissa Lapp, Sarah Mahaffey, Sarah Ressler, Jessica Zimmerman. By having the newly inducted students stand up front with previously inducted students, <laughs> graduates, faculty members, we're showing that we are all one group of professionals. We work together, not only to uphold the principles of the profession, but that we're also committed to that profession and the patients we're determined to serve within it. Each student receives a pin to remind him or her of the pillars of teaching others lifelong learning for themselves and the rigors of practice. And they receive a certificate to recognize his or her accomplishments. They also receive cords that, they can, that can be worn with their regalia at the commencement ceremony. I'd like to have Jennifer Snowberger, who is the president of our chapter, come up and we're going to do an honorary inductee. This year we have the honor of inducting one of the faculty members into the Upsilon Phi Delta Honor Society. Ms. Tamami Horning has been a member of the BSHA faculty at Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences since 2010, following a career in healthcare management. She has been an outstanding teacher, mentor, and coach for the students and continues to be a mentor and role model for the alumni. It is with great pleasure that we induct her into the Upsilon Phi Delta Honor Society and present her with a membership pin, certificate, and honor cords that she can wear with her regalia at next week's commencement ceremony.
Good evening. My name is Stephanie Ellis. I'm the Director of Campus Life and Community Relations here at PA College, and I'm pleased and honored to lead our inductees and society members in tonight's candlelight pledge. Inductees and members, would you please stand to have your candles lit? Advisors, I would invite you to do that with the lighters here on the stage. Let us recite the pledge together found on your program. I promise to uphold the standards, ideals, competencies, and ethics expected of those in the healthcare profession. I promise to uphold the pillars of my discipline, including the ideals of teaching others, lifelong learning for myself, and professionalism in my practice. Just as this candle is a beacon of light, so will I serve as a beacon of excellence in practice and service to my community. Before you blow out your candle, pause and reflect on your vow and commitment. You are all wonderful examples of the high standards of this college, and we are so pleased to welcome you into your respective societies. You may now blow out your candles and be seated. Well, congratulations to all of our inductees. I want to close by taking a moment to reflect on the word that has been said a lot tonight, and that's honor. To define it, we see phrases such as high respect, esteem, and adherence to what is right. I remember when I was in high school, and there was one girl in my class that I felt was my competition. If she got a 93 on an exam, I wanted 95. I don't remember why I was competing with her, but um, I always wanted to be better than her. On the day that we had our National Honor Society inductions, I was inducted, and she was not. Um, I was pretty surprised because I knew she had the knowledge to be part of the Honor Society. So I asked the faculty advisor, who said, nominations aren't just about grades. They include service, leadership, and character. So my competition had high grades, but never really interacted with other students, participated in activities, and really never got the chance to demonstrate that she had the skills to excel in the Honor Society. So remember, tonight's achievement is not just about earning high marks. It's that you earn those grades while continuing to set forth an example of what the consummate professional looks like. You are the person that helps a fellow student to understand a difficult concept. You become the leader of a group and get work accomplished, whether that be a study group or a volunteer project. One of the things that I like best about tonight's ceremony is that it is not all about graduation. Many of you are not coming to the graduation ceremony. You still have classes to attend here. And for those who are graduating, you will find, and most likely be told several times at the ceremonies the next week, that graduation is not the end of your education, it's the beginning. Therefore, consider taking the next step to whatever next degree or certificate will propel you into the next level of your new profession. You don't have to be the next Bill Gates or win a Nobel Prize. All you have to do is live a life of honor. Make a difference in someone's life, whether it be a neighbor or a classmate or a coworker. And if you stumble, don't be defeated. Pick yourself up, carry on with integrity, 
and you will continue to demonstrate those characteristics which brought you to the Honor Societies tonight. Congratulations to all of you.